Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is a requested video tutorial. I am going to show you how to make Americano three different ways and three different cup sizes. So we're going to make Americano for 12 ounces, 16 ounces and 22 ounces. And for the three different ways, I'm going to show you three different methods. The first one is the regular brewing method. The second one is inspired by Greek frappe. I have already shown you some of these uh, methods. And the third one is inspired by the Italian shakerato. Very simple. We're going to use instant coffee. I'm going to talk about instant coffee in a bit. We are going to use sugar. So white sugar or brown sugar, depending on your preference. And of course, because this is Americano, we're going to use just water. And just to make my drinks a little bit more premium or exciting, I'm going to just add some lemon slice on top of my drinks when we are done with preparing them. Now, let's look at the coffee. What coffee is best? So you might ask. I mean, here I have two different types of instant coffee, Nescafe. And Nescafe itself has got a few different flavors depending on the coffee roast. For instance, this one is called Nescafe Red Cup. This is available in Thailand. And this is a blend of Arabica and Robusta. Robusta, for those that do not know, is a stronger coffee than the smoother Arabica. If you'd like to know a little bit more about these details, may I suggest that you get a copy of my book, The Basic Barista. Details in the description box below. In Thailand, this sells for 81 baht or about 134 pesos. It might be cheaper in the Philippines. So, Arabica and Robusta blend red cup. And here I have a more premium Nescafe, which is called Nescafe Gold Crema. For this, this is supposed to be Arabica, 100% Arabica. So it's supposed to be smooth, mild, and also fragrant. This is more expensive, in fact, 50% more expensive than the red cup. And the price in Thailand is 119 baht or 180 pesos. So which one should you use? It depends on the budget or how much you are planning to sell it. Well, the taste will be quite different. One is milder and more premium and the other is stronger and less premium. Now, here's my tip. If you would like your instant coffee to taste different from the others, you can blend this too. So maybe two thirds of the red cup, which is cheaper, and one third of the crema, which is more premium. And it will just make your coffee taste different and better. That's just my tip for the day. So if you would like to see how they look like, so this is the gold crema, you can see it's smoother, and this is the red cup. So for my 12 ounces, I need 1.5 teaspoon of coffee. So I'm going to use one teaspoon of my red cup, the cheaper version, and half a teaspoon of my gold crema. And we are going to combine these two together. And for the sugar, once again, this is according to your preference, but my commercial recipe is that I would use one tablespoon of sugar and then two ounces of hot water to dissolve all of these. There you go. So stir to dissolve. Three ounces of plain water. Now, the reason why I am only using two ounces hot water is because I don't want my drink to be too hot, especially when I put it in my cup, okay? So just blend or dissolve your sugar and your instant coffee in two ounces of hot water. That's enough. Now, here, my first method is that I am going to use my milk frother here to froth. just to make sure everything is nice and mixed together for this method the, the usual i just combine them all together and then i use the milk frother to create that frothy top and here is your 12 ounces ice americano So with this method, you need hot water and you get that frothy top. Make it premium. I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon there. And we are done with our 12 ounces Americano. One way, first way. On to our next cup, which is 16 ounces. 
For this, I am going to use Greek frappe style, and so it will look a little bit different. The method is also different. And for this, we are going to make it straight into our 16 ounces glass. One teaspoon of red cup and a bit. You can make it one is to one, but because I would like to make it cost effective for you all, I'm going to use 1.5 teaspoon of the, creme, of the red cup and half a teaspoon of the gold crema. There you go. And for the sugar, because this is 16 ounces, we are going to use 1.5 tablespoons. So one and a half. So once again, this is commercial. It would be sweet for those that like their Americana sweet. For instant coffee, I think putting sugar is worth it. Okay, so there you go. And then what I'm going to use here should be cold water. This is cold water, but if you're not sure it's cold enough, we're going to put a little bit of ice in my water. Okay, just to be sure it is cold. That's it. Now I am sure it's going to be cold. Okay, so what for this one, I am going to need one tablespoon of ice cold water. So just one tablespoon and then as some of you might have already seen my video on the instant coffee, ice instant coffee, give it a stir. And then we are going to use the milk frother, electric milk frother to froth this. What we are aiming for here is to turn this liquid into caramel brown color and almost turning it into solid. There you go, it's looking lovely, caramel color. And then for this we need water. I am going to put four ounces or half a cup of plain water. and there you have your americano the second way greek frappe style it looks more like a latte than an americano but we'll wait until it settles in a bit okay so that's our second americano using instant coffee third drink we are going to make 22 ounces cup once again, for this, I am going to use a different method to present the Americano. And for this, we are going to use the shaker rato way, which is the Italian way. Because it's shaker rato, we need a shaker. What we need, one tablespoon of our instant coffee. I am going to put just about two third tablespoon and a third tablespoon using the gold crema. Once again, it is a blend, making your drink different from all the others. And then we are going to put two tablespoons of sugar. So this is a little bit or a lot sweeter, but it's a bigger glass. Okay, so two tablespoons of sugar. And because I want to make sure that everything is fully dissolved, I am going to use hot water to first dissolve my coffee and my sugar. So just about two ounces of hot water. There you go, inside my shaker to dissolve I think it is fully dissolved and then I'm going to put five ounces of water more water so there you go two four five ounces and then we're going to fill it with ice okay there you go. And now we are ready to shake. There you go. Now it's time to pour them into our cup.
So three different ways to take your pick. In terms of presentation, I would say I like this too, using the regular method with the milk frother, and also this one, which is using the method of Greek frappe. This one, using shaker, as you know, I'm not a fan of using shaker. You can see the, the bubbles are on top, which are not really drinkable. That's why in most shops, they shake it and they throw, throw away the bubbles. And what happens is that you throw away some of the goodness. Whereas if you do everything in the cup, you will see that everything will be in there. Now let's see how they taste like. For sure, it's not going to be anything like what you buy from outside using instant coffee because we use a blend of two different coffee. Okay, so for the 12 ounces, let's see whether the sweetness is just right or whether we need to adjust it. Hmm, strong coffee. You might need to adjust the coffee. It is strong and smooth, I would say, and it's not very sweet. I think this recipe is just perfect for 12 ounces. Now let's try the 16 ounces. Hmm. Once again, the coffee is strong. It is, um, I, I could taste the strength of the coffee using from, from this one, most probably, with a hint of um, body to it. So maybe it's from the 100% Arabica here. And then the sweetness is once again just right. So I would say perfect. Now for the last one, using the shaker and the 22 ounces. Mm. Of course, this is the strongest, but once again, they are all refreshing. So there you go. They all taste equally good. For me, the sweetness and the strength of the coffee are perfect. You may adjust the sugar that you use and also the coffee that you use. And once again, you may select one or the other depending on how much you want to price it. For those at home, try this recipe as well and you will be pleasantly delighted. So in summary, method number one, we just use a simple mixing them all and then using the milk frother to create that frothy top. And method number two, what we use is we put everything in the glass and then we use the milk frother to froth. And this layer here, the top will be there forever. If you're doing this for delivery, by the time this gets to your customer, they will still see this bubbly top. And using the third method, which is using the shaker, once again, I am not very impressed with the foam. It is quite uh, airy. If you're going to use the shaker, you might wish to take out the bubbles because it does look quite empty. Okay, well, there you go. All of these recipes you will find in my recipe book, The Basic Barista. So get yourself a copy because this is as requested by many of you one-stop shop for all the recipes that you find on this channel plus a lot more so don't forget to click that subscribe like and comment thank you for watching stay safe ciao for now